Hi, this is Keiko from Brooklyn Shoe Space for Shoe Talks Quarantine Edition. Today, I'm inviting Chase of Chase Custom Boots. She's uh, in DC area, which is East Coast, which is, I think it's pretty, not rare, but, you know, we think Western boots is, you know, a lot of Western states, but she is um, on the East Coast. So let's see. Um, Ooh, she's not um, yet, so I can prepare a little bit. Um, I'm in a different location today. I actually came to Brooklyn um, for some personal, you know, stuff. <laughs> and so I am inside a house, a friend's house. Uh, let's see if Chase has... Join high Parent Creek custom boots. Um, let's see, she hasn't come on yet. Um, no, I'm gonna try to maybe call her. And uh, is this a shoe manufacturer? No, we're not a manufacturer. We're a shoe making studio and a classroom space. Um, and right now, since we, with COVID, we kind of closed our shop physically um we're connecting the community through these shoe talk series and just chatting with people all over the u.s and i think we'll spread our you know network to the um overseas as well but right now we're focusing on the u.s we have so many shoemakers and if you include western boot makers there's like way more and Western boots is also boots and shoes, you know, um, it's not a different, it is a different world, I feel like, but it's still under the same umbrella. So I thought we'll talk to them. Um, it's fantastic, fascinating to see how everybody got into it making. There's a lot of female shoemakers, boot makers out there as well, which is really exciting and new generation as well. They're younger. Um, so I think it's fascinating. If you're looking for shoe manufacturers, we have um, Shoe Girl Studio, for example, who does um, consulting and in introduces you to uh, shoe you know, manufacturers. They can do all the way from sketch all the way to production, help you produce your shoes. Oh, I didn't know Western Shoes was different. Hi, Keiko. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you for explaining. Oh, yeah. No, it's not different. It's just different. Um, what's the right, right word? Like a genre. It's a different. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, independent Western boot makers with a shop. And it's fascinating to see everybody's workspace as well. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because I love seeing where everybody works, how they started. Everybody has an amazing story. Their mentors sometimes overlap, sometimes different. Everybody has a different experience. They also have um, gone to different makers and apprenticed under a few, several of them. And, you know, they combine their knowledge into making it theirs. It's fascinating. Oh, thank you for that. Yes, that's what I'm looking for, a manufacturer. So La Pioni. Um, it, the manufacturing is a little different. It's basically like a factory. Um, and quantities, minimum order um, quantity might be high. But uh, yes, please reach out to Shoe Girl Studio and uh, they might be able to help you. We're really like communicating with and connecting with a lot of shoe makers that are like personally hand making shoes one by one. And when you say manufacturing, you want size runs, you want quantity. And there's actually factories out in LA. We did, a, if you look onto our um, Instagram TV on our account, uh, there's a um, La La Land design is one factory and Clover and Cobbler is another one out in LA that does actually manufacture as well. So maybe you can reach them. All right, I don't think she is on. So let me see. No, she's not on. So let me reach out to her. I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to stop this video right now for now and um, come back. All right. Bye. Um,
and 